God bless you. Second Thessalonians 3, verse 3. The word of the Lord says that the Lord is faithful and he will keep you, protect you, and strengthen you from the evil one. Thinking about this word today, I just need to encourage someone. You may look at all these different things that are happening to you back to back. You actually see things getting worse than they're actually getting better. And you're asking yourself, is God anywhere in my life? Why are these things taking place? He's not coming through for me. But I want to encourage you that God is faithful. My God, woke you up in your right mind. If you have the activity of your limbs, if you're able to move without assistance, glory to God. If you're able to go into your job and walk out with a check at the ending of the week, get in your car, drive, do the things that you have been able to do, God is still faithful. And what seems to be happening at this moment is just a temporary intermission. It's called where they are giving you some type of a preview of what they feel is going to happen. But God, glory, has the final say. He has, my God, the results are in. He has already, glory, favored you. And all that you need is in him and it rests in him so God is faithful he will strengthen you he will protect you and he will keep you from the evil one don't give up don't be sidetracked don't be pulled off God God is coming to keep on trusting keep on believing your season is about to shift father we honor you today God, we give you glory. We give you praise. We exalt your mighty name. God, you are worthy, hallelujah, to receive glory, honor, and praise. Let this word resonate in someone's spirit tonight, today, this afternoon, whenever they listen, in the name of Jesus. Let it bring them to another level in you. Hallelujah. We found you, God, to say, Lord, plant my abushanda, my feet, glory, on higher ground. So I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that we will no longer stay on the low level, but we will trust you for the higher ground. We will trust you for the deeper anointing. So in the name of Jesus, bring forth greater for the lives of your people and those who are being worried that they think things are failing. Show them, God, that you are in control. Continue to keep their mind stayed on you in great peace, perfect peace, my God, divine peace, that they will understand that nothing will shake the plan that you have for them. So I thank you today, God, in the name of Jesus, as you keep us through the night, keep us through the day, keep us through the week, keep us through the year, keep us through the month. My God, let your hand stretch forth in every area of our lives and bring us into our season of greater. And it is to you we give glory, honor, majesty, and power in Jesus' mighty name. We pray and say hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Glory. Hallelujah.